firstly, I'm delighted that you could make appearance this morning, um, that you, you're due to your pressures of work, and I hope you hadn't to skip your 11s. But we spoke about this last night. Um, your problem is, Minister, that the problem isn't solved. And other ministers had managed to um, resolve issues around their briefs, you know, and in particular in relation to the, the, the um, common travel area, you know, and the, they had managed to do it. Why? Because they put the effort and the time in to do it. And I don't know if you realise, or I won't say that you don't care, but I don't think you actually realise um, just how important these issues are for people living in border areas and the nightmare that it's going to be. You're going to have workers travelling, particularly in relation to the licences and green cards, but you're going to have workers travelling to work on a daily basis. You're going to have family visiting family. You're going to have um, tour tourism, tourists, all of that. But even down to a farmer driving a tractor across his fields. If one field is in the north and the other is in the south, does he need a green card? If he has a, an accident in his tractor, does he need a green card? These are the basic day-to-day -day issues that, that are leaving people in total confusion as to what um, they, they need and what they have to do, and you've done, you've done nothing to resolve it. And I must, I, must, I must respond now that she's here to some of the things that she says. Um, you came in here last night. You, 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 you reminded me, you know... We had a very sensible discussion here last night between two of your colleagues, Deputy Doherty and De Deputy Osnoddy, about green cards. They were mature, they were sensible, they were constructive, and I thought, as I said before you came in, and you were late here today again, I, I thought, as I said before you came in today, that what they were doing was something very constructive. We couldn't agree to what they were doing because it wasn't in our power, but they were representing their communities extraordinarily well. They were like thoroughbreds in a, in a horse race. You came in, as you normally do, and you're like a donkey at the last race, at the last fence. Uh, minister, you're ups upset minister, the whole apple cart.